Hi guys, Larry from Oregon Coast. It's March 13th and we're going to do a little update here on my little crocky jalapeno plant. So if you take a little look there on top of the, the pepper plant, it's hard to see in this picture, but the leaves are kind of uh, really wilted. It got really hot in my little uh, grow tent, little homemade grow tent I had. So here I'm in the process of moving outside and I just took uh, a couple quick pictures and a uh, we're gonna do a quick little update here. Not the greatest of pictures because it's the you know the pepper plants wilting pretty good, but um, just really impressed how long this thing survived. Basically, I accomplished what I wanted to do. I wanted this pepper plant to be able to survive through the winter time, and that way in the springtime I can put it in my greenhouse and uh, get another season at, on it. And plus, uh, I actually end up with a little pepper there. This picture here I took in December, and um, as you can tell, there wasn't a whole lot of growth from uh, December to March. But one of the problems that I ran into that um, about three weeks ago we had some really nice weather, around 70 degrees, and um, I took the pepper plants outside for a couple hours the first day, and uh, they seemed to do really good and liked it. And the uh, second day I took them out and I left them out there all day, and uh, the sun just hammered the leaves. So this last three weeks, the pepper plants have been trying to recover a little bit so they're not looking so good but I think they're going to bounce bounce back the roots everybody loves checking out the roots so here you go um, the roots actually look really healthy so if you click, click back on that first video I had of the roots you know they look pretty uh, pretty sad so this part I'm pretty excited about um, kind of curious to see how this is going to handle, handle uh, the summertime and I didn't add any nutrient. I've just been using the uh, water out of my qu aquarium. But um, once I get into the greenhouse, I'm going to go ahead and change over. I'm just going to do a straight uh, crocky method. I'm going to use a, a hydroponic uh, nutrient. And the reason why I'm going to switch over to use uh, the hydroponic nutrient is uh, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better, a little faster growth this way. And here I'm showing one of my favorite... Uh, favorite features here of this uh, coffee can. Uh, got that little handle on there so if you want to take your your pepper plant to the walk, you want to take it to the park, and there you go. Make sure you uh, you obey your uh, your local leash laws. Check out my harvest. Three and a half months of indoor growing and there we go. Well I'm not bummed at all actually. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy of a uh, really happy with, with the results. It did what um, I wanted it to do. I wanted the pepper plant to be able to survive the winter time and uh, make it to spring and uh, see if we can get uh, another harvest off this bad boy. And I got uh, a couple other projects I'll be doing this, this spring and summertime, so stay tuned. And uh, I want to thank Dale from Easy Grow Easy Grows It. He's really helped me out with my channel, and uh, if I ever have any questions, uh, he he answers them for me. You know real great great guy great channel and he also has this new website if you go to uh, click on my channel and right on the banner you'll see on the lower right hand corner you'll see the little icon easy grows it click on that and uh, that'll take you right to his new website he's uh, he's doing a little has some gardening tips going on and he also is doing a YouTube uh, basically uh, tips so if uh, you want to try to get more views for your channel, that's the place to go. So if uh, you want to try to make your video a little better, um, he's going to be giving uh, a series of articles there. So uh, anyways, uh, make sure you check him out. And uh, thanks still. Appreciate all your help. And thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.